Hi there. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to configure uh, Debian 10 Buster Mate or Mate, uh, and at least what I've done. Um, when you install it, uh, it looks like um, this. And here, let's see if I can maximize it. And it's rather bland, and you've got a panel at the top, a panel at the bottom. Um, and you know it's a question of always trying to make it work for your needs and that's what i try to do for myself and and i've played with pretty much all the distros uh, or desktop environments to get a feel with what works best for me um, and of course that changes it as i try uh, or as i keep tinkering with this i find a, a different way that i want to configure it uh, but it's init initially it looks like this uh, let me close this out and um, so what I've done, I'm going to minimize that. I've changed the wallpaper, which is a, a big difference, at least vis visibly when you're looking at your desktop. And then I took the top panel and I put it down at the bottom here. Uh, and I also, uh, it's, all, it's on auto hide uh, because ultimately I don't need to see it unless I want to get to where I want to go. So there's no necessary necessarily have have a reason to um, have the panel there displayed at all times and then I also put the plank panel on auto hide here on the left and then I put a panel on the right and this is the notification area and a few other little applets or apps that I put in here and this this panel I use the least uh, I really don't need to access it and that's why it's on auto hide and off to the far right. So um, let's see, moving on, what I'll do is try to show you the, uh, what I did here, I, I took the standard menu that came with Mate or Mate, and I, I changed it to the Brisk menu and put it here in the left corner. Uh, and the Brisk menu allows you to do direct searching for items in the search area here and then you end up having a favorites area where I just put my system items in my favorites which it makes it easy to get to them quick access to some of the excuse me some of the things you may want to access um, so the key is trying to get to wherever you want to go as quickly as possible um, so I put the brisk menu there and then I put the uh, main menu which looks like this over here so it's neither of these are the are the standard default menu, um, but I prefer these two over the uh, Mate or Mate menu that uh, comes stock with the uh, install. So, and these menus you can get by just right clicking on the panel, going to Add to Panel, and then in this menu here you'll see here here you have your Brisk menu. Then if you scroll further down, you have your main menu, your menu bar. So I guess the default uh, menu, I believe, is the menu bar. And then, of course, your notification area is over here. Maybe I'll just kind of show you the ones that are that are in here that, um, let's see, the clock, of course, is here. Um, what else? I also use the disk mounter, which I put down here because I find that handy when you're plugging in, uh, you know, uh, SD, uh, uh, SD cards or flash drives, whatever you're plugging in or, or unmounting um, or, or mounting, this is quite handy. So that's the dismounter. Uh, force quit in case you have a misbehaving application. That's this over here, which doesn't happen very often, but it's handy to have a, a, a quick way of doing it. Um, then of course uh oh let's see what else here is there something else here the, the search files i put that actually i think that's where i put this from here there might be another way to get to search files but um you've got separator show desktop here's your show desktop over here in the bottom right um anything else oh the timer i put the timer over here if you want to time anything it's a nice little timer you right click on it start timer preferences about uh, trash in this instance I didn't add a trash with this applet because I'm using the one in plank right here 
So, and then also Plank, you have a clipboard, so you don't need to install any additional clipboard unless you need something rather more elaborate than this simple clipboard. Um, so these are less used apps I put in this panel or in the Plank panel. And, um, and then let me move on to um, how you would, to create the transparency to the bottom panel um, or even to do any changes, you would right click on that panel. Um, say you want to adjust the, the uh, width of it, uh, not the length, but the width, because I don't think you can change the length in Mate of these panels at, at all. And if somebody knows how to do it, by all means, uh, uh, put it, you know, make some comments about it. Uh, but you can change this, the thickness of this, right click on that panel, left click properties, and then you have um, the size. See, it says size here. You can shrink it down. I can start shrinking it down or, and so I, for me, I have it at 50. Um, and then, of course, the panel is expanded and it's on auto hide. So those are checked. Then under under background to create this transparency, you would click the radio button down here to solid color. And then uh, under style, you would use the slider. And I put it to 30.4, which gives this uh, level of transparency. And then you're done with that. So um, and then as for the clock, uh, let's see, was there anything I did in particular with this? Right click on the clock, preferences. Uh, yeah, I just changed it to 12 hour, uh, put in the show date. You know, these items are checked, but to play, you play with it the way to your liking. You can add weather uh, in here too, but I chose just to have the clock. And of course, if you click on the clock, it has the date uh, by clicking on the clock. And um, Let's see, was there anything else I wanted to show you here? Um, a lot of this is going to be in the show notes to describe what I've done. This is just to give you a, a visual clue to what you can do um, with Mate. And I guess I should also go into here. Uh, you can also customize the login window. Um, and to do that, you have to install... Uh, uh, I think it's called GTK. Let me see. I'm going to have to look in here to look for it. Type in GTK. So it's Light DM GTK Greeter Settings. This uh, uh, it describes it in the show notes how to do it. So I won't tell you here. But when you install this, then you can install your greeter. So my greeter looks like this. Let me see if I can maximize this. So I, I, you know, I, I couldn't log out and show you with a uh, screen recorder recording this video. So I had to take a photo of it. And so I, I chose a dark theme login window, or uh, I don't know what you call this. Uh, and then of course I chose this kind of wallpaper that I wanted for my login window. So just to give you an idea of, you know, login, uh, you can always customize your login, even in Mate uh, or in particularly in Debian Mate, because with Debian, you have to install a lot of things on your own. And that's what makes it a little more difficult for some people is going, oh, you know, it didn't come with this. So now I've got to add this or add that, whatever it is that you want to do. And then also Redshift, which is good for your eyes at night. It changes the uh, light spectrum of your display a little bit. Um, and I'll just show you a visual that I use Synaptic Package Manager and you install Redshift with Redshift GTK, GTK uh, these two items to uh, uh, get your Redshift going. That's all you need is these two items with Synaptic uh, Package Manager. And uh, then you'll have this little icon when you start it, when you click on Redshift, it'll, the little light bulb will show in your notification area and then you would right click on it and then you can click enable it or auto start it so that when you restart your distro uh, or you know start it up it'll start automatically so uh, it's pretty simple to set this up it's just require just you know re requiring that you install redshift um, 
And uh, that's about it. I think just look at the show notes. Um, I wanted to try to do this quickly. Hopefully it'll help some of you. Um, And uh, anyway, thanks for watching.